Should all service dogs be treated the same? A San Francisco man was allegedly asked to leave one of the city's cable cars with his service dog, Rosie, recently after the operator of the trolley said he did not feel safe in the dog's presence because Rosie is a pit bull. A video clip of a San Francisco police officer and transportation agency supervisor purportedly asking both to leave the cable car has gone viral, of course, stoking this controversy that many pro pit bull advocates think the breed does get unfairly treated. Joining us now to discuss this is the star of Amazon's Pet Doctors of Atlanta, veterinarian Dr. <laughs> Arvid Edward is back in the house. Welcome. <laughs> so the minute you start talking about dogs and particularly service dogs, it, it gets very emotional. Mm -hmm. What is your, what are your, what's your take on this story that's gone pretty viral? Somebody's in trouble, <laughs> let me tell you. The thing is, the key word is service dog. <clears throat> By definition, what a service dog is, it's a dog that's been specifically trained to assist an individual with a disability. They're governed by you know, California state law or whatever local state law, as well as federal law. And in this instance, Rosie was identified as a service dog. And as service dogs, they probably have more rights than we do. And so <laughs> to get kicked off the cable car was a big no-no because of fear. Fear is not a valid reason to deny service to a service dog. An emotional support dog has not been trained to assist with the disability, and they're just there for their mere presence of comfort, support in the forms of affection and companionship, and they're considered a friend. So if she was an emotional support dog, she could have been kicked off the cable car because she wasn't muzzled. Right. Service dogs do not have to be muzzled to be on a cable car. By law, there are only two questions that that operator can ask. One, is this dog required for a disability? Two, what specific task has this dog been trained to perform? Mm -hmm. That's it. But if the disability is obvious, you're not even allowed to ask those questions. The other big question is, this was a pit bull mm -hmm. uh, in this particular instance, and the question is, is this breed of dog getting a bad rap? Yes. Now, <laughs> if we let a pit bull run from the back, everybody would flip over chairs trying yes. to get out of here right yeah. now. Yeah. But you know, and that's just what you see in the media. 90% of the pit bulls I see in practice are the sweetest lovable dogs you'll ever run into. However, like they say, one bad apple spoils the bunch. But I think just kind of common sense, if you have a pit bull and it is your service dog and you know how fearful people are, why not put a leash on it? You know, why not just make everybody a little bit more comfortable? Because I think the operator of the cable car in this case just was afraid and really didn't yeah, feel and, comfortable and with the dog. And possibly saw other close. passengers yeah. getting, uh, getting acting becoming a little nervous skittish, as well. nervous yeah. as and, well. And that's a great point. And I tell people all the time that when they're looking for a dog, that when you're getting a dog, you're also getting the stereotype that comes with that dog. So if you did make the decision to own a pit bull, you're making the decision to own the negative stereotypes that come with it. So when you take it in public, yeah. you run that risk of getting questioned, getting a side eye, mm -hmm. because if it was a golden doodle, we probably wouldn't be sitting here <laughs> right now. <laughs> you know? It's true. Well, and, and you know the you other know? thing, we, we should talk about this more at some point. You, you even acknowledge that there are certain breeds that are probably better equipped to be service dogs versus other breeds. And, but at the end of the day, dogs are a product of their environment. Mm -hmm. And I think once a dog has that service dog designation, that dog should theoretically have gone through the necessary steps to prove that that dog is not a risk. Right. <laughs> is there purely in service? We did reach out to the San Francisco Municipal Transportation Agency about this very story. They responded, we understand that some riders need service animals to reach their destination, and we want to ensure they can do that safely and as easily as possible. From riders to employees, public transit is a place where people from all walks of life come together, and we are committed to giving each rider access to a safe, efficient, and reliable ride. Of course, doesn't address that particular right, exactly. scenario at all, really but we will certainly keep people posted because I do understand there's legal action that is being contemplated. Dr. Edwards, thank you so much. Really appreciate it.